G'day and welcome back to our One Empire campaign in Hatswine 4. So we're not going to declare war on China for a while. We are going to try and finish off uh, Mongolia and Tanutuva just so we have the extra border on China and then we'll push in soon after that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be able to get... Well, we'll be able to get all the way down to the coast. I have to remember we're at war with Japan as well. So, yeah. Axis, can't remember. Yeah, the Axis are at war with the common turn. There's nothing happening there, so we must have no troops down there. Hopefully, they're all in uh, China. Okay. Victory in the Battle of Wherever. And Finland's getting thinner all the time. There's our night vision. So it's 43. Uh, we can do the anti tank or let's get better Marines. I did just uh, queue up. There we go. Did just queue up 50 of them. Not that we have the slightest of infantry equipment. So we took the production hit when we switched over to infantry three. It's alright. Make do with what we've got for a while. Terrible supply up there. Eek. But good supply down here. Near yeah, their capital. So yeah. Keep taking the stuff. That is Finland. Let's call everybody in. Finn. Finn. I see it there. Finland has capitulated. Well, so much for checking that out. And that means we have lost the border. Alright. You guys. Not you guys. You guys. Get on here. And. Alright. Take over this order. Do, 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 do. Something like that. And. Yes, actually join it. There's no point having the other one there. No, but I've tried. Yeah, that's annoying. Um, well, let's actually do this the easy way. We'll delete that. It's deleted the whole thing. And then... We've selected everybody. So we just want maybe these guys. Not them. So it's only going to be our part of it. And then you're going to go running wherever. Okay, now. Okay, non-aggression with China. They try that every couple of months. I keep saying no. Some tanks in the front there. Let's grab some of these guys. Not them. And yeah, do a run for Stockholm. Get some of the faster tanks through. Still can't actually get through there so turn your way around the corner okay I was going to wait until the Hawker Tempest is done to use our air experience uh, what ships are we making these days started on heavy cruisers we yeah, really need more ports uh, threes and threes and threes. We should have been making... Didn't research the fours. Okay. Well, again, tons of guys. As soon as they're in the green zone, they can move faster. Have to go take that port. And the Singapore strategy pays, pays off, letting us do land fort in Singapore. Not like it's going to get attacked by anybody. Alright, take out his motorized divisions. And where are you Egypt's going? Get down there. Alright. So we've got our guys into Tanu. Yep. So next up. Make a run down here. This guy is failing at it. So if you can't do it yourself, just prepare for everybody else's arrival. Give it a big hug. Zhang Bei is the capital of the Soviet Union. Okay. Uh, we have supply here. Hmm, probably not for long. Should be okay. Alright. Uh, let's go take a quick look at Africa. Yeah, still moving out. Or they're not. Keep going there, bud. Alright. 
They are aggressive. And they are aggressive. And Yugoslavia has tons of troops for some reason. He's even getting that many. He has an all adult serve. And did we end up doing. We've got an export focus on the war economy. Okay. If we went to closed, what would we get? Just less resources to market and then lose research time. And research time's a big one. Alright, got, got the yellows and the blues lined up on China. Here's a bit of a supply problem there. I blame these guys. And come around. That is going to be just bad for them. I don't know. Alright, almost got our own circumvent. And we've called Venezuela in. That was ages ago I did that. It's finally replied. Alright, got the encirclement just as we want it. So, tell me that's enough. End of the day, it is not. Alright then. All of you... All of you... Stop. Nope. Alright, head down to Zhangbei. And wherever else. grab these guys. Just need them taking random pieces of land from Mongolia. But they've got to be ready. Mongolia should be near the top. 39%. Sweden, we are heading through. He only had about a dozen. He's got three dozen. He's started building up really quickly in them. And this guy is a tool. Get around. And same with you, you moron. What are you doing over there? Hmm. -hmm. And we could set up a quick naval invasion of Holland. Let's grab these five. Uh, you will go from there to there. Congratulations. And get in there. Still got our fleets just doing these two little uh, bits. Two regions. One each for the uh, carrier bonus. The planes don't like being spread over more than one sea zone. Alright, Mongolia have capitulated, which gives us that border we were looking for with France. So, how are we going to do it? Let's go yellow over this way. I have to stop there. And yeah, it's probably about even. Yellow and blue. Cool. Let's start the uh, fabrication. Just for war goal to conquer uh, Ningja. Only 10 days. PRC Mengkukuo is the axis. I think we will focus on China. If there are any Japanese troops, he can take some of our Russian land for a bit. Alright, and how are the battles going down here? Pretty good. Finish him off. Not going to get him to join an army yet. <clears throat> I wonder if anybody else down here would join. Neutral foreign policy, and we have the war. Uh, Peru should join, shouldn't they? Not yet. But, once the wars start out there, he is fascist. He'll probably turn democratic before we can get him in to the Allies, though. Thanks to the Yanks doing their whole South America thing. This is going very slowly. Alright. East pilot promoted. And we're good for China. Uh, it runs pretty much in position, so let's just declare this now. Call our allies into this wall. And they shouldn't last long. I mean, they don't even have any guys up there at the moment. So what if we... Send all the guys who are in the north. Send them to the south. That's oh, actually going to select everyone over there too. Well... 
Let's not do it with these guys. You lot, stop. Yeah. Alright. He has stopped. And these guys, stop. And these guys. Not you, not you. Stop. How did we miss one? Here's Portuguese. Alright, um, not you. Stop. And none of these should be moving. East Africa Force, Northern Rhodesian Corps are having some malfunctions there. And apparently nobody wants to attack the half dead guys. Get in there. And you're helping up there. How about, instead of doing that, you help over there. Alright, John Wars request from Greece. Yep, yep, yep. We did already ask you guys to join. Okay. So, China. We need 75. Doing all the participation. 98.9. .9. Slipped a bit on the guys. I slipped a bit on both of them. It's alright. <clears throat> They should be relatively quick to beat these Chinese. And next modification. Right. Um, Chief of Air Force. Not operations penalty. Absolutely. The Navy would be for... Alright. Screen attack and defense. He's only a specialist. Better off getting an expert. Naval Air... Tax from carriers. Yeah. I mean, there's not many planes, so they don't make a huge difference. No speed, I think, would be better. Should go for him later. Alright, and we want to grab something like this. Send them up this way. And we'll grab actually everyone on this. And can we send them through there? Yeah, that would be a good spot. Alright, and we need the PRC to capitulate. So if we grab them, just try and get them to Yanan. And uh, while somebody's up here, just go take Chaha. Shouldn't be too difficult for him. And yes, this front line. Can now be extended through his allies. We would also join up there. No. Just want to do China for now. Oh, and this guy should make a run for Beijing. Make sure we take Chaha first. But then, yes, you're going down there. And you're defending. That's why you send two armies to do it. How about you go take that little blobby bit? Alright, what do we get from Mankukuo? Hopefully we get all that land without having to uh, send our armies through it. Alright, end of the day. Nope. How did they not capitulate? They're not in this one, they're in the uh, Axis, which is this one. Mankukuo is 100% towards capitulation. So that was a waste of time. Alright, Landward Forts. What else do we get? Peninsula War. Singapore is owned by us. Land forts in Singapore. Okay. Somebody else is doing some work here. Nope. Denmark, Norway, Venezuela should be able to join in. Or did they become democratic before they joined us? Nope. Alright, quick peek at Peru. 47. He's going to go soon. That's going up 0.01. Guaranteed by the US. And Venezuela come in to us. Uh, what are we looking for? Invite to faction. We have the war they may be drawn into. We have a few wars they may be drawn into. And that's a lot of Greeks. Would the Greeks be in Greece? 
Fifty three divisions sitting there that say yes, they are. Um what do we want to do with them? Guess they can get on this Japanese border. And directly into the this one. 107 divisions on just Japanese border. Looks like we're already starting. Good. Alright, where are these guys moving? Uh, apparently nowhere. They have no orders. Well, it's easily fixed. Join him. And there's our Hawker Tempest. So, what do we want coming off the boats? We want probably jets. Don't know if you can do them. Naval bombers would be better. So let's research that. And then we'll go to the production menu. Have a look at our planes. And not the carrier bombers. The We're not even making cars. Okay then. Let's go make some variants with awesome attack. Decent reliability. And that's going to be about it. Alright, send out Tempest Mark 1s. Stick them on the top of the list. Uh, probably don't want them on the actual top though. Down to 17, head of the planes. So we have... I want to say 80 CAS, yeah. Okay. And we still want to get to Yan'an. There's the other one. So we got knocked back from Beijing. So if we can take Yan'an first. They shouldn't really be able to get held back all along the line. Just going to be able to reinforce into that gap. Come through this way. Where are they pushing towards? Yep, just going past. Alright, hold them up while these guys do the job. Supplies terrible. And near Chongqing. Right, let's just get them all heading this way. I'm sure somebody is sorting out these. Maybe not. Alright. Go take all the coastal provinces. Get nicely surrounded and. These guys will take a victory point. These guys will uh, take an airbase. And this guy will quickly turn around and sort out some of the other nonsense. Alright, streamline line. You know, get the faster construction, which we are starting to do the naval bases. Nice. So, how are we looking on naval production these days? Alright, getting started on the heavy cruisers. Let's go through checking. Destroyers should be four. Um, yeah, screw it. We'll just do it now. Lose the 12 days of production. Cruisers, three. Battleship, three. Submarine, three. Um, destroyers we could boost. I'd rather boost the battleships once we've researched the four, though. So I'll save the uh, naval experience for that. And what kind of tanks do we even have? Uh, tanks. Yeah, we got light three. So we should have done that a long time ago. Um, production of tanks. Light tank three becomes... We're doing mark ones with everything except this one. Alright, can we improve on these a little further? Get the speed up a tiny bit. Get their armor up. Reliability takes a bit of a dive. That cost too much anyway. Alright, this would be good. Speed up, armor up, reliability up. Go for it. Now you can all make Mark IIs. Not much of a hit to production efficiency. So that's all good. And probably decommissioned Mark ones. Mark it as outdated. Sure. Okay. Expeditionaries. Another nine from Venezuela. Gives us a bit of a stack over here. Where are they? Nine and five would make fourteen. Yes. So 
they can join some random other army. Let's get them in here. There's only 14 of them, so they can just have whoever has the highest skill is a trickster. And we will sort of try and do this eventually. Something like that. Okay. And for more Portuguese, naval battles, all the rest. Alright, China's looking a little holy at the moment. Trying to get into the capital. Yeah, I thought that would have been a little easier. Got a good reasonable on Chongqing. Or not, actually, we're surrounded. Okay, let's grab these guys. We'll do another push. Ditto over here. And these guys can worm their way up towards the mountains. Uh, that's a river crossing. Let's get these guys down there. Okay. The rest of this shouldn't take too long. Unless they stand around looking at it. Something like that. And just get these guys heading up the other way. You're doing it right. You're doing it wrong. Okay. So you see masses of troops, which means terrible supply lines. We could just build up the infrastructure out here, but nah. War should be over before it becomes a real issue. Again, lots of guys. But they're not managing to do what they need to do. And what's China on? Get him down to, wow, it's actually pretty low. It's fair enough, I guess Japan took over a big chunk of the large cities there. That's originally Japan's territory up that side. Yeah, see the bright red is the land that uh, Japan shouldn't own, but they do. All right, Marines three, next up. I don't know, what can we do over here? An extra 10% wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, engineering. We're doing all the stuff we can. Yeah, doctrine, actually. Land doctrine. That would have been a good idea at some point, wouldn't it? Um, no, screw it. Navally. We need to do the battleship Vanguard class. Want that ready. And there goes Mankuko and China. Nice timing. PRC, I think they're going to hold on. Yunnan Free Empire has capitulated. Okay. Um, reorganized Nationalist China are down there. Joined the Axis. So they capitulated to Japan. Japan pieced them out, flipped them. At least they're fascist. Puppet of Japan, though. Which means, actually, we can just run over to Wuhan. We've already got this guy kind of nearby. With supply from the city, I would expect. How long is he going to take? It's not a river crossing yet. No, that one's going to take him four days. But everybody else is getting involved. These guys head in that kind of direction. And the Dawn of the South American on Pont. Well, that'll keep him out of this whole thing. So, who was it? The South American Entente. I guess we should have read the thing. Allies in there. Okay. Diplomacy. The South American Entente is... Oh, goddamn US. You're not South American. Cheating bastard. Got him up to 37. Okay. Guess it means he won't join against us, though. We lost a Nimrod. We lost one plane for his three things. Alright. Um, why? Okay, I say, why haven't we moved anywhere? We've kind of made our way south. No supply. So, somehow we can still win with no supply. It's just, yeah. They're idiots. Way too many in there. Um, how many exactly? 204. 
Let's grab 102 of them out. And, I don't know, walk over there somewhere. Of course, they're going to try and walk that way. Ah, uh, God. Alright. We'll give them a fallback line. Near the French ports that we're getting. Well, actually, they can go through this area. Since we're having issues with them. But yes, you are to go there. And send you there directly. If you make it, fine. If you can't, then you'll still turn around and walk around the other way to get there. And this naval invasion, do we not tell it to start? There you go. Get on the boots. She was planning a naval invasion of Stockholm. Would have been easier. And the Raj gives us 14 more divisions. Got a few different things here and there. Well, we're already taking Holland. Let's forget those other guys for a bit. Um, we will <laughs> sink their ships. Um, we'll delete that now. And yes, you will do a naval invasion from here to straight on top of Stockholm. Shouldn't take too long to organise. Yeah, this Raji army. Where are they sitting? In the middle of nowhere. At least they're not using up the other army's supplies. Uh, let's get them to do this naval invasion from Vladivostok to the same place I always seem to do it. Uh, is next to this port and next to Osaka. Let's go one, two, three. Jump on there and where are you? start when you can. Start when you can, start when you can, start when you can. And the national focus is set, really. Uh, let's hold Hong Kong. No, I don't care. Fortify the rock, maybe. Nobody's going to be too worried. Okay. Supplies up near Vladivostok are looking good. Japanese army is looking terribly weak. We've taken Beijing. We were trying to get over to Wuhan. Put the other guys back in again. Alright, supplies are green, so they can get there pretty fast. That's looking good. And there's a straight crossing there. Let's grab these guys. Take most of that. You need to go there. Thank you. And we've got this guy sitting here. You know what? He can do something with his life. Go over to Guangzhou and then back to Hong Kong. Alright, so it's just a matter of getting it all back. <clears throat> like how Japan took the entire coast in their little peace deal. We're at war with Japan, we're at war with Sweden. Yes, we're not at war with China anymore. And 12 more divisions from Norway. He likes giving us the people, even though we can't use them from here to here. We have to walk around to get there. Alright, have a crack going straight to Stockholm. Yeah, these guys still in the red. If we grab Gimme the damn it, give me the line. Been a little weird. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Alright. And China's capitulated again. So I'll grab the other half of these and do the same thing. Send them down here. Go for it. And yeah, unrest in a lot of those provinces. Somehow, lots of unrest in here, even though it should have been set for the people to come over. I think they just don't have enough. But we're not going to make more. So it's looking like we're going to need the naval invasion of Stockholm. Because these guys are having a bit of a hard time. And when are those five guys ready? Two days. Right, they'll leave straight away. Finnish troops there for some reason. Just the uh, broken guys. Just want to sit offshore waiting for the homeland to come home. Alright. Well, I am going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon. See you later.